smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I got another video for you guys, and uh, this video is not as exciting as the last ones. You guys can see that I'm, I'm kind of energetic, but at the same time, I'm just trying to see the light in this when there's really no light. Um, I don't know what's going on. So if you guys haven't been following me on my Instagram, which you guys really should, it's right here. You guys will know what's going on with my life. So I haven't been uploading um, a video on my brother's car yet. It was actually scheduled for yesterday, but I took it down mainly because like there's just a complete change of events. For those of you guys who actually follow me on Instagram, which is a lot of you guys, you would know that, you know, why would I upload something to do with my brother's car when there's a lot of things going on with my car. So as you guys can see from the thumbnail, my car got rear-ended. So my car completely like, I was driving 25 miles per hour, slowing down 25 miles per hour on the second lane on the highway, which is the lane away from the carpool lane. And this guy was zipping out in and out of traffic, going maybe like 65, literally comes behind me and just literally like nicks me. I don't even know how you say it. Pretty much slammed right into me, going 65 miles per hour at the side of my car, not even like the, the rear end. The crash pod couldn't even like absorb the impact. It was hit on the side, not the quarter panel, but like literally between the quarter panel and the crash bar. I want to go show you guys the car right now. It's at the, the body shop. I took it to Diamond Auto Body. I heard it's a very reputable shop. Uh, my friend Jacob told me, helped me out a lot. He got, he got recently totaled and ended up getting a Mustang GT, so congrats on him. But I mean, my car, I don't really know how I feel about this. I don't know if I want it to be totaled. I don't know if like... I put so much work, time, and effort into this car, I really don't know how I feel about this. So, I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna pick up a new whip. Say hello to the Camry for, um, this gonna be a lot of great videos on the Camry. You guys already know, no, I'm kidding. I'm just completely kidding, because what am I doing? What am I, a Camry? Come on, so basically I got a rental car. You guys are probably gonna be asking me, why aren't you using the 350Z? I'm not using the 350Z because it's not registered yet. I got CHP appointment in about a month. Same shit with my brother's car, I hate salvage title cars. Um, but anyways, they gave me a free rental, so that was chill. But on a serious note, I don't know what's going on with my car. Um, I don't know if it's considered frame damage. Basically, when you guys open up the trunk and you pull that thing that's on the side of your, like on the right side that's above your battery, like this little uh, case, I don't know, um, cubby, whatever. You took out the cubby, um, you're exposed to like the tail light and the battery compartment. In the battery compartment, you can see metal pushed toward the, the battery. So clearly, metal is getting pushed in. I don't know if that's the frame. I don't know if that could be easily cut off and replaced. Is that like, you know, to like, is that like an extra metal support for the frame? I'm not sure. But um, metal is pushed into the car. And on the bottom, which I show a picture right here, metal from the bottom of the battery compartment is also pushed in really bad. I, again, I don't know if this can be just cut out and replaced or... This is going to be a costly procedure and it might be total. Now the reason I'm really tripping out right now is because the guy that hit me, first off, had no insurance. And if you guys think that's bad, no. That's not the worst part. Second part, his car hasn't been registered for two years. Third part, he has, what's it called? He has no license. Yeah, it hasn't ended there. Fourth part, he has no phone number or any contact information. So I ended up calling the police. I was like, this guy is literally driving with literally no records, no nothing to even prove that he is a legal driver. So I ended up calling the cops. The cops came. They, they you know, uh, they went to go talk to him. They got both cases of the story. A lot of you guys noticed me on the highway, which was kind of crazy, but that's why I had to post it on my Instagram because you guys are already sending me pictures. I was like, okay, yeah, I got I to gotta upload this for anybody else really gets a picture. I mean, it's my accident, you know? So as of now, guys, car is at the shop. I don't know what's going to happen because my insurance has to cover all of it when it's not even my fault. So this is kind of getting into a very, very expensive process. I don't know if they're gonna total the car. I don't know if they're even gonna cover the car. It can get as bad as that. They probably won't even like, there's a chance that I have to literally drive the car back home with all that, like the pretty much just kind of the frame pushed in and I have to figure out how to fix it myself because this other driver had nothing. And let me let me also tell you guys something. This, this will really piss me off. So when he actually hit me, he came out of his car, his hood was smoking. Corolla, 1998, didn't even care. Literally slammed right into my car, his hood was smoking. Got out of his car with his partner. Literally both of them just pulled out a cigarette and started smoking. Like, that was literally their first instinct. I don't know if that's supposed to calm them down, because that really triggered me. Basically, they just started smoking. They went off the side of the road. Um, they're like, oh, sorry, kid. I'm like, I looked at him, I was like, I need your license and insurance. That's where I got all that stuff. They have none of that. Um, I saw them walking back to their car, and let me remind you guys that the car was in the middle of the highway. Let me throw in a video right here. Sorry, I got a picture, you're good. So as you can see, the car was in the middle of the highway and he just literally grabs his radio out of his car and comes to the side of the road and starts taking pictures of it. I'm just like, 
are you really trying to sell parts of your car right now? You just completely like smash into my car, doesn't even care. So when the cops arrived, I told him, he has no insurance, no license, no nothing. Why is he even driving? He said, yeah, I know that. Um, yeah, so in, in this situation, we gave him a citation. I'm just like, a citation? Really? You gave, gave him a citation for not having a license or insurance? I, I thought you'd go to prison for that type of stuff. I don't know if he has to go to court to end up going to prison. I don't know the case, but um, it's, it's, it's aggravating. So yeah, after the cop told me that, the tow truck came, took my car to the body shop, and this is at the point where at the body shop, they look at the car like just, you know, very quick, and they're like, man, this is pretty bad. I'm like, yeah, I know. Um, is it fixable? They're like, we don't know yet. Um, we have to contact your insurance to see if they, how they even go about paying for the damages. So at this point, guys, I have a free rental, thank God, because, I mean, at least, it's not even a bright side, but at least I have a car to drive around. Um, but, you know, I don't even know in the next couple days, this is finals week, like the stress is not helping. I don't know if I have to pay for the damages out of pocket. I have full coverage, but I don't have non-insured um, vehicle coverage. So if the other guy didn't have insurance, I'll be covered. It's, it's very rare incidents, and that's just the rare incident that I happen to run into. So we'll have to see, guys. Um, I'll throw in a couple of videos and clips throughout this video, probably even a couple in the end. Just some pictures, just, you know, just to show you guys what really happened in the, in the, in, you know, the accident. But yeah, I'm stressed out. I don't really know, you know, where to go from here. Um, I just want to put this video up before I put any of my other brother's videos up. I'm gonna, I already had two of them edited and scheduled for upload yesterday in the next couple days. So I'm just going to go ahead and reschedule the uploads maybe like in the next two days and, you know, just space them out. So I have some time to rethink and see what's going on with my car um, while you guys at least get some good content. So I'm sorry for kind of like, you know, pushing the videos back and it's kind of like, you know, me working on it a week in advance is kind of delayed kind of stuff and I know people don't like to watch videos like that but it's the best I can do for now and I'm sorry guys. I don't even know what to say guys honestly. It just looks all on bad. I hope it's not as bad as it looks. I don't even know guys. <laughs> Headlight is separated. Uh, let me try to zoom out a little bit. So here's the full bumper. I don't even know. If you guys look in there, that's all pushed in. I don't even know. One like is one prayer, so smash that like button and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, probably gonna be in two, three videos where I'm gonna be talking about the, my car again because I already have two videos of my brother's car ready for upload. So I'll let you guys know and um, if this news comes in sooner, I might just make it the next video. So remember to smash the like button and see you guys in the next one. Um, peace out. Shawty hit my line and she's trying to get up on me I tell her like Habibti, that's too hot on Wallahi Where they are, I was raised with Somalis Everyone got a friend named Abdi I'm from OT 613